found within animal and plant cells. As we know, cytoplasm is a fluid-filled region between the nucleus and cell membrane. Cytoplasm is about 70% 70 70 water and contains many dissolved substances. Now, all the important metabolic reactions, basically the chemical reactions of the body, take place here. So if we're talking about metabolism, most of the time they actually take place in the cytoplasm. Now, cytoplasm is found in both prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells. So both animal and plant cells, which are eukaryotic cells, and prokaryotic cells. Now let's take a look at cellular boundaries. Now these are the boundaries around the cytoplasm that holds in all those organelles. So let's first talk about a cell or plasma membrane. The two words are interchangeable. Cell membrane, plasma membrane. This regulates materials entering and leaving the cell, which means that it's partially permeable. So it's selectively permeable here, which will allow certain things in and certain things not to come in. Think of a bouncer, uh, a bouncer at a, a club. We have the bouncer allowing certain people in and allowing certain people not in. So it's very like a, much like a bouncer. The plasma membrane protects and supports cells and can be, can be found in all cell types, prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells. A cell wall is also part of a cellular boundary. Now the cell wall shapes, supports, and protects the cell. In a plant cell specific, I'm sorry, in a plant cell wall specifically, this is made of cellulose, which is fully permeable, allowing large molecules to move through it. So like the boundary that we had, um, like the bouncer we had with the cell membrane, that bouncer is not here in the cell wall. It's allowing pretty much anything through that cell wall. Now cell walls are found in prokaryotic cells and plant cells and some other organisms such as protists and fungi, not animal cells however. So cell walls are not found in animal cells. Now let's take a look at the control center of cells. The biggest well-known control part of the cell is the nucleus. Now the nucleus controls most functions in eukaryotic cells. The nucleus will house the genetic information of the organism, and this information is stored on chromosomes, which is made of DNA. Now the nucleus is found in eukaryotic cells only, both animal and plant cells. It is not found in prokaryotic cells, although DNA is in the cytoplasm. So while the nucleus itself is not in a prokaryotic cell, DNA is. Other parts of the nucleus that might be of interest to you. We have the nuclear envelope. And this is inside the nucleus, which allow materials to move in and out of the nucleus. This is kind of like the cell membrane for the entire cell. This is like the nucleus's membrane, membrane, so we call it the nuclear envelope. We also may see a nucleolus. Now this is an area in which ribosomes are partially assembled. We're going to talk about ribosomes soon, but just know ribosomes create proteins, and some of these ribosomes are actually created here in the nucleolus, the part of the nucleus. Now, chromatin is another form of chromosomes, which we might see. Chromatin are thread-like structures which hold the chromosomes, basically your genetic material. Chromatin is found in the nucleus of eukaryotic cells only, while uh, it can be found in the cytoplasm in prokaryotic cells. Now let's talk about the organelles that store, clean up, and support the cell. First, let's discuss the vacuole. Now the vacuole is a large membrane-bound space that stores water and contains ions, nutrients, and wastes. 
Plant vacuoles contain cell sap, which is a solution of sugars and other substances. The vacuole is pretty large in plant cells. So while we do see small vacuoles sometimes located in animal cells, it is mostly in plant cells that we do find larger vacuoles, kind of like the picture you see here. Vacuoles are not found in prokaryotic cells. Vesicles are small membrane-bound sacs that stores and transport substances in cells. Now vesicles can be found in both animal and plant cells. Vesicles are typically used, for instance, if we have a large substance, something that needs to be moved in and out of the cell. This substance will actually be stored inside a vesicle to move freely through the cell membrane. Remember that cell membrane has a bouncer, it has some, something there that only allows certain things in and out. If the cell needs something that the cell membrane does not want in, Sometimes using vesicles help this object come into the cell. Lysosomes break down and recycle macromolecules and other waste products. So lysosomes are sort of like your garbage disposal. They're going to get rid of the waste products that aren't needed anymore inside the cell. Now lysosomes are found in animal cells but they're rarely found in plant cells. So animal cells, yes. Plant cells, I would say no. And they are definitely not found in prokaryotic cells. Finally, we have the cytoskeleton. The cytoskeleton is a network of protein filaments that holds the cell together and support its shape. So while we have the membrane and the cell wall supporting the shape, the cytoskeleton is sort of like your bones. They're the ones that actually, they're proteins that hold the cell together and support its shape in certain areas. Now the cytoskeleton is found in both animal and plant cells and can also be found in prokaryotic cells. There's two types of cytoskeletons. There's, uh, we have microfilaments, which are made of actin. It's a type of protein. And we also see microtubules made of tubulin, 